Okay, welcome to our next series of AMSOIL product overviews, descriptions. This uh, next one is regarding the oil filter selections, the EA, uh, which stand for uh, Absolute Efficiency Oil Filters from AMSOIL. These uh, are quite unique, and you can see we keep every one of them in stock here at Synthetic Warehouse or oilordering.com. Uh, we also keep an array of the man filters because we get a lot of European car owners as well. Um, let's go over these real quick. Uh, number one question we get quite often from customers is, what makes your filter better? Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, we're going to do, this is unscripted, <clears throat> by the way. But anyway, everybody always asks, well, I already got a filter at home, and I'm sure yours are pretty good, but, you know, I've already got a can in or a, you know, whatever, a Wix filter or Mobile One, and uh, I figure you guys are probably a good filter, but really, I mean, is it any different? And first thing I try to tell them is, yeah, our filters actually are the only ones that offer full disclosure. There's a ton of information on the Internet that comes from AMSOIL. There's even some training guides that us dealers use that's perfect for the customer, too, if they really want to venture into that sort of thing. But uh, these are nanofiber. They don't use... A typical cellulose. Here's a cutaway right here. This is a, a synthetic cellulose filter that um, we sold 2002 and prior. This was made by Hastings. Uh, it was a Hastings product line. And uh, it's a very good, high quality uh, paper type filter, synthetic cellulose. So, what they did was they did make the fibers smaller and put them together closer. Uh, so they can filter down to a lower micron and also have superior flow even as the filter starts to clog up. So there's a cutaway, and we'll go over that in just a second. <clears throat> but the AMSOIL filter, before I show you the cutaway, just look at the information on one of the boxes here. Uh, the EAO11, for example, it's a popular Ford filter. It says right there 25,000 miles. Uh, but unlike our competitors, you can see here, you actually have the full equation on the back. Let me make this focus. There we go. <clears throat> you can see here uh, average filter efficiency 20 microns per ISO 454812. And uh, that, there's a percentage here, 98.7%. Put that in the center of the screen at that efficiency. Now other filters will put on their box we're 98% or 100% per that test. But every filter is 100% at some micron level. The question is why don't they tell you what the actual micron level is? That's the question. They leave that information out. So uh, if you want to claim that you have a better filter you most certainly should have all that data available. Also, <clears throat> the AMSOIL filters, they do farm out to several filter companies to get the best parts as, they, as they're available and assemble into one. Uh, typically, you'll find uh, a filter that has one good part and several weak parts because they don't have the ability to, to do that if they're, they're not an independent company. They're you know, stockholders. They got their own patents on everything. Anyway, the the AMSOIL filter, when people cut them open, they look at the media and they've never seen anything like it. They don't even know where to begin. That white material does not have resins to hold it together like the paper filters do. So first of all, there's nothing that will change over various uh, changes in temperature, you know, constant ups and downs, you know, cooling the car down, heating it back up. Those resins will coagulate. And uh, after a while, they don't even flow below 75 degrees until that filter reach op reaches operating temperature. This material you see here started out as a liquid, and there's these uh, microscopic nozzles that spray it in a particular pattern to eliminate uh, debris based on its size and shape. You can also see it's against a screen, a wire mesh screen. Let me turn off the focus here. And uh, the base is of a thicker nature. The uh, sheet metal even opened up with a cutaway. You can't even uh, flex it with your hand. 
Uh, so it's just a stronger, and it's also welded and crimped together in a better fashion. And the neoprene or whatever it is, the the drain back valve, it's such that it can take longer temperatures, uh, higher temperatures at a longer duration without degrading itself. And then the center uh, return uh, galley in there is designed for maximum or the least amount of resistance to flow. So the Amsel filter, through research and development and uh, technology, they're always going to keep it at the leading edge. Uh, initially, that nanofiber did come from Donaldson, so if you want to do more research, read about it there. Um, so anyway, so we have a Superior filter that will, it, you know, has a claim to uh, be 15 to 20, 25,000 miles. The smaller, let me zoom in here, the smaller uh, cartons... We can put the big ones down here on the bottom shelf. The smaller cartons, because of their size, and we got the motorcycle ones up above, are uh, 15,000 miles. And that's just because the capacity is smaller, and uh, in order to stay compliant with that type of limit, we still have a bold statement 15,000 miles is quite a bit. Most other filters would never even come close to that. But when you use the nanofiber, you increase the actual capacity of that filter significantly. Um, so that's kind of a, a quick overview on Amsel's filters. Uh, basically, if you a lot of people will complain uh, here in the store. They'll say, uh, well, I'm doing 25,000 miles, but if I change the filter, I'm going to lose all the oil. Well, that's not true. You just lose what's in that filter and right there at that spot there's all sorts of valves in place you're not going to lose there's, there's no siphoning effect that's going to eject all the oil out of there and uh you know most the average drive uh, driver doesn't go past 15,000 miles anyway uh, another issue is uh, if they're using the xl product uh, they're like well why would i use a really good filter if i'm going to change it every six months anyway well that's fine you can use any other filter and if we have them in stock, you know, we can get the Wix filters, which I keep in various places here. But the MAN filters are quite popular, and they meet, you know, the European car formulas are pretty much 10,000 miles, so it's perfect for that. Uh, you don't have to use our filter, but we do suggest it if you want maximum filtration. Uh, so, you know, just like everything else, Amsel stands behind the products, and the filters are just as good a seller as anything else that we sell uh, I go through cases and cases. Every one of these filter numbers now, I buy one or two cases at a time. Some of them are four. The stuff, the ones that the Chevy trucks use, these uh, uh, 15K50s, the new uh, 17, which a lot of Fords and GM and Chrysler are using, that particular size. Uh, as a dealer, if you want to join us as a dealer, you buy by the case and you get quite a discount. Uh, on them too so as a dealer they're actually quite uh, profitable so check that out go to our website oilordering.com and hit the dealer tab I'm actually at, at the time of this filming I'm working on that page right now so anyway we're 8 minutes and 40 seconds into this video and I'll end it here uh, again go to oilordering.com or you can call us anytime our telephone number is 800-579-0580 again 800-579-0580 we'd be glad to help you and keep in tune with our series here on all the Amsel products you f feel free to make any requests on something you want to hear more about uh, and I'll just uh, you know these are unscripted we're going to talk just the way we discuss these products with our customers oh there's a phone call probably well never mind uh, have a great day